All right, I have a absolutely insane story today, and it is uh, shockingly a bit controversial, and I don't know what side is right. I am just here to talk about what I've seen. So please take any opinion I have with a grain of salt. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm prefacing it with that. There was a Roblox game called V-Land, and uh, as you can see in this tweet, you know my second channel, I say whatever I want, not gonna hold any punches. This is a game that teaches you about the menstrual cycle which is basically when women have a period. And it's, the V stands for vagina, I'm assuming. And everything is modeled around a vagina, like this gate looks like a vagina. And I feel like I should stop saying that now that you get the point because I don't want to get demonetized. Personally, when I saw this, I thought it was hilarious. I had no opinions about it whatsoever. I mean, it's a fucking vagina game on Roblox. I think that's, I'm gonna think that's funny, man. It's like if they made a peanut world, I'm gonna think it's funny. But, uh... A lot of people are very passionately against it, and a lot of people are very passionately for it. So le let me just go over the opinions on both sides. And I don't really have one myself yet, I still need to look into it more. This game was educational in nature. The whole purpose of it was to educate children about their menstrual cycles so they can see it as a normal thing instead of feeling sort of embarrassed when it happens to them and having to tell adults. And they did this by, like, I guess, dressing everyone up as tampons and putting them on on tampon cars inside the woman in original tract, which is an interesting approach. I don't know if it was meant to be educational in nature or if it was just a, meant to desensitize the topic. All I know is that I thought it was very funny. It was very funny news. My, my pal Schlepp made a video on it and since the game has been deleted, I'm gonna be watching his video because I don't know what it fucking looks like. I can't get in and play anymore because the game is literally gone. So credits right. to Schlepp for being the goat and giving me this video to check out. Yeah, all right. It looks like you start with a... Uh the v-land gate where you go into v-land it is shaped like a vagina which is normal three costume choices you can be a tampon you can be a uterus or you can be i'm not sure what that is i'm not a woman i didn't learn too much about this but yeah you go you go in the vagina you go across the lake of blood which is interesting one thing i think we can all agree on whether you're for the game or against the game is that this is so something about this is so strange a roblox game with just lakes of blood and pink fleshy mountains the vibe here is off i feel like if they wanted to educate us about menstrual cycles they could have done so in a way that did not have you racing tampons inside of a vagina like imagine presenting that idea to somebody at roblox i hope they remake this game for the original purpose but not f <laughs> with that but yeah carrying on schlepp plays the game uh also he says he's riding a sperm i'm pretty sure that's a tampon because the the pink tail and also this is not a a sex game i think it's just a menstrual cycle game but yeah all of this i don't know if you got the vibe so far but it's a little strange to see on roblox i will say that i think this is something that should probably be taught in school personally i was taught this in school although i've heard that a lot of people aren't taught this in school and that's what the purpose of this game was, was to sort of get them familiar with it without having to be taught in school because a lot of people don't hear this in school. What I think instead is that all schools should teach this. I don't know why schools don't teach this. This is normal. This is a normal part about a woman's body. This is entirely normal, but it's still a sensitive area that Roblox uh, does not allow in their terms of service. So it was not the best idea to post this on Roblox, I think. After seeing many opinions, I think the appeal is there, that it's sort of a fun way to learn about it and desensitize it. Personally, I'm obviously not in a fucking position to say anything. I'm a man and a half, man. I don't, I, I still fully don't know how this works. I'm just trying to take in all information on both sides and formulate my opinion. I don't know. If you can't tell, I'm scared to talk about this because I don't know shit, man. I just want to cover it because it's wacky and I want you to know about it. Also, Schlepp, what the heck, man? Put my name in your tags? Yeah, I see that. I see that, Schlepp. You have my permission. You can keep doing it. But yeah, let's get on to uh, the opinions that don't really like the game or are sort of neutral. I think Schlepp Schlepp was sort of neutral. He was just sort of laughing at it in the game because it is a strange, ridiculous concept. I cannot blame people at all for finding this uh, a bit surprising or taking this the wrong way that the developers did not intend. I can't blame them at all for that. I mean, it's like, it's definitely a very brass way to do this. Basically, people are just laughing at it. They say that it would be the same thing as if you made like a peanut land on roblox i don't know if it would be the exact same thing but that, that's what that side says and now 
Time for the other side that I've seen, which is people upset that the game was taken now. Uh, I'll, I'll just read this tweet out. No, what the fuck? I'm mad. Notice how all the folks complaining about VLAN are men and that it got taken down. When I was a kid, I wasn't educated on this shit and it became as a huge surprise to when I actually dealt with it and be embarrassed. It's great that learning can be fun. It was fucking awesome that young girls can learn about their bodies. You all don't get the shit and assume it to be crude and gross when these sexist values are the only ones that men hold because they're used to shame women about their bodies. For years, patriarchy has shamed young girls into believing their bodies are gross and sexual in some underlying object. I'm going to stop reading there for now. I think that desensitizing the topic of this is a good idea. I don't know if a topic this sensitive should be taught to kids unsupervised on Roblox randomly. Like, I don't know if a game should just be put out there to the world for random kids to find and play. I think it should probably be taught by like a person of trust, like a teacher, and it can be taught in fun ways. And I agree that it should be taught in fun ways, right? But maybe not in a random Roblox game, just out into the world world, you know? I'm not in a place where I should talk on this. I'm just giving my opinion and seriously considering both sides of the argument because I think both sides have something to say. Either way though, it's fucking crazy this much drama happened over this game, man. It's crazy this much controversy happened over Vagina Land. I mean, I guess I get it. It's fucking Vagina Land. I don't know if you can tell by the shakiness in my voice, but this is a whole situation that I am afraid to tread on, man. Vagina Land, I just thought it was hilarious. I saw Vagina Land, I thought it was funny. I wanted to play. I wanted to drive on the tampons. I didn't really think of it as anything more than just like a funny little exploit, to be honest. Though after seeing both points, I get to sort of understand why people are mad. But yeah, what ended up happening is that the game got taken down. Big shock. I mean, it's Roblox. You can't reference genitalia on Roblox. It's very clearly against the rules. Even if it is in an educational way, I guess the TOS says Roblox is not the place to learn that. No one is arguing that it's against the Roblox terms of service and that the game should have been deleted according to Roblox's terms of service. No one is arguing that. Some people are arguing that Roblox terms of service should be changed to account for this or that they shouldn't have that in their terms of service. I don't know about that because if you allow genitalia mentioned on roblox and even a non-sexual way and like a educational way that's definitely i feel like something that could be a slippery slope especially with 13 year olds using the words cock and dick all around the place i, I think this is a hard situation to find a medium in i do understand the creators of the game's intention that they wanted to sort of desensitize people to the concept of a menstrual cycle because all women go through it. I mean, it's very, very common. Half the population experiences it. In my opinion, it's so strange that a lot of people still think that it's weird I, I, or a lot of people are shocked that it happens. I don't know. Uh, bottom line is women bleed out of their vaginas and Roblox is teaching this to you. If you're going on to Roblox to play doors, welcome to land oh this is fucking sick you're riding a pad through like rivers of blood me neither schlep i don't know what to say and i'm not in a place to talk about it all i can comment on is how wacky it is that this was uploaded to roblox and that i'm so glad we have video proof that this exists whoa what was that did he fall in the blood and then it made like a splat thing on the side of his screen Malice? What is ma All right, hold on. I need to look this up. Well, malice means malice. Woohoo! I don't really blame people for their shock at this being on Roblox. I also don't blame people for being upset that the game was deleted and being upset at the people who were shocked about it. I don't really blame anyone in this situation. Honestly, I think there's good points on both sides. And I'm just a guy. I'm just a dude. I didn't learn about this till I was 16. And now kids are learning about it when they're five on Roblox? I don't know. I I'm not qualified to speak about this and i know i keep saying that i feel like it's important that i make this video and say that while also presenting both points equally because in the twitter and youtube space both sides are very much unequal right now and i i just want to make this video so you can see all of the information present and all of the takes present on this game because as much as i hate that the vagina game is controversial the vagina Vagina game is controversial, guys. The vagina game where you ride a pad through a lake of blood is controversial. You know what? You know what I want to talk about? There's this one Roblox game that teaches you about like the stomach or something, where you like get bored and walk through a body. I think that's disturbing. I think we should. While we're taking this one down, can we take that one down too, man? Honestly, I don't want to see a bunch of pipes and veins squeezing out all over the place. Like two-year-olds play this game. People who can't even read play this game. What are these little pipes going? up does do women's bodies have coral can any women in the comments confirm whether your bodies have coral either way 
I think this is a massive source of entertainment. I've seen both sides joking about the game, having fun in the game, recording little videos of themselves writing tampon cars or something straight into the vagina of a woman's body i don't know so at least people had fun with it up to the point where it took a turd and became very serious the vagina roblox game became very serious but i'm glad people had fun with it for a little bit i think that there should be more awareness spread about women's menstrual cycles i don't think that it should be a weird thing i think that the creators of this game didn't do it in the best way even the vibe of the game is weird i can't really i can't really fault people for thinking that the vibe of the game's weird. There's lakes of blood, there's mountains and stuff. I feel like what the game has done, despite their goals, is to make it more shocking to people, which isn't what they wanted at all. And I don't think the message of trying to make people more aware of this is bad. I don't think it's bad at all. I just think that it should be done maybe by teaching figures in more places than it is, maybe even earlier than it is, more casually than it is, to normalize it more. Maybe there could be fun ways to teach it. Maybe there could be Roblox games to teach it. I think making Roblox Roblox games that teach about this subject matter, this public for any old three-year-old to stumble across and ask their mom what a vagina is, I think it's kind of telling that they're not even saying the word that they're showing in the title. They have to say V instead of the word itself. I think maybe if you can't say the word, then you should think about it and carefully plan it before you release it to the general public. Or maybe even have a disclaimer for this game. I don't know, because I don't know. Like I said, I don't know how to talk about this. I'm not in a place where I can talk about this. If there's anything I really can say to like lead you off of the video with vagina land, listen to people whose opinions matter. Listen to women both for and against this game. Listen to educators. If educators even fucking care enough. If your eighth grade teacher wants to have an opinion on the pussy game, generally don't listen to me. I gave my opinion, but just listen to the evidence and the sides that I present instead of listening to my opinion. Although I gave it because it's unsolicited and you can't stop me. What are you gonna do, stop me? You can't stop me, you can't stop me!